Good morning, GMS. I'm Kate Hankins. And I'm Elijah Martin. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of October 26. Please remember to charge your computer every day once you get home. And make sure to put it in your backpack every morning. You need your computer for school. Remember, if you're out of school for an extended amount of time, you will still find all your assignments on Canvas. You can also email your teacher with specific questions. A quick reminder about the dress code. Remember, all pants must be standard length garments. Therefore, shorts, skirts, dresses, and more must be fingertip length or longer, with or without garments underneath. Jeans must not have any kind of rips, holes, and or tears above the fingertips. Thanks for your understanding. The 2020-2021 GMS yearbooks are now on sale. Go to www.yearbookforever.com to order yours today. The prices will go up, so be sure to order your yearbook, your yearbook today. Just saying. If your family is in need of Thanksgiving and or Christmas assistance, email or call our student advisor, Mrs. McGuire. A healthy school environment starts at home. We ask for you to use the parent screening information posted on the GMS homepage as your guide. Students, make sure to let your parents know when you, are, when you aren't feeling well. Finally, make sure your face mask is over your mouth and nose. This includes in the hallways, in the classroom, even in the bathroom. Also, make sure to socially distance and wear a face mask when you go to any sporting events. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top training in the GMS sports update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. I'm Allie, here with 7th grade industrial technology instructor, Mr. Campbell. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing great. I'm going to take my mask off so you guys can see me a little bit better, but I'm having a good morning. That's great. Would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Well, this is my, I'm starting my 34th year in teaching. I was a teacher at the high school for 23 years, and uh, I've been teaching at the middle school for 10 years. I have uh, two children, they're both grown, and uh, one of them is married. They're both moved out of the house, so my wife and I are empty nesters right now. Okay. What made you choose teaching as your profession? Well, I had some good teachers in school, both in middle school and in high school. I, and I, uh, I tried to do some things just like my high school coach and one of my teachers that taught me drafting. Um, I was uh, inspired. I thought I wanted to be an architect when I uh, graduated from high school uh, because my drafting teacher really prepared me. Even in college, uh, I was able to test out of my first drafting design class, which isn't a reflection on me being a great student. It's a reflection on how uh, well prepared I was by that teacher. So, you know, I, I got a good start. What do you like to do in your free time? Um, I stay pretty busy. Uh, I really enjoy working out in the yard, doing all kinds of yard work, trimming uh, shrubs, cutting the grass, just detailing the yards. I also take care of four other yards in our community. So uh, I stay pretty busy. I also have helped my son restore an old house he bought five years ago in Indianapolis. And together he and I have changed every room in that house, uh, just remodeling, insulating and plumbing, all kinds of interesting things that keep me busy. What do you think of e-learning this spring? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, what did you think of e-learning this spring? Oh, it was bad. Huh? I didn't enjoy that at all. Um, in my class, most of the things that we do can't be done at home. So I had to scramble to find some interesting things that, that were similar to what we were uh, doing in class. So even now, if we go to remote learning, uh, it'll be different than what we do in class currently. And for those eighth graders, um, Last year, we worked on the Synergy system where the kids rotated from different topics. Uh, this year, I just decided to change all of that. And I've gone back to some old school uh, drafting kind of lessons where we use the computer to design parts that can be 3D printed. We work out in the shop. We've already made some race cars, little dragsters. So I like to do the hands-on types of things where I'm going to split our time between working on the computer designing things and going out in the shop and making things. So I really enjoy doing this. I think our, our students this year, our seventh graders, enjoy what we're doing. That sounds awesome. Um, finally, if you could change GMS in any way possible, what would you do differently? Well, I think I would probably make better requirements for uh, teachers. You know, they'll let anybody in here to teach. 
uh, for example, I told you I, I taught 23 years at the high school and uh, they found out that I had not graduated from college. I didn't finish. So uh, I think what we need to do is have better checks and balances on our teachers. You know, for example, Mr. Kaluja, uh, he before he started teaching here, he was a, a one-man band in a lot of these uh, carnivals. Did you know that? I didn't know he would, that. He, he would uh, perform in, in tents and sideshows. And uh, so we're, we're kind of questioning if he ever even graduated or even went to college. Um, Mr. Sutton found him years ago. He, Mr. Kaluja and I are about the same age. And Mr. Sutton found him and asked him, we need a band teacher. Would you be willing to uh, come in and start teaching at uh, Greenwood Middle School? And he always done a great job. All our success in the band uh, has a lot to do with his teaching abilities. So, uh, but, you know, there's still some doubts whether or not he graduated. Uh, look at Mr. Reinhardt, too. It, uh, he could tell you a lot of stories about his background. Um, Mr. Donnell, uh, I'm sure glad he's not teaching science. You ought to ask him about his uh, nature walks. Uh, but I think a lot of our younger teachers, there's better checks and balances to make sure they have the educational requirements to teach. So I think we're doing a better job, but there still needs to be a lot done about checking up on the, our younger teachers that we hire. Well, thank you for coming on our show today, Mr. Campbell. All right. Have a great week. You guys have fun. See ya. Hello and welcome to Top Trending. I'm Kate Boyce and let's get started with number three. Tesla's Starman flies past Mars. In 2018, Tesla and SpaceX Elon Musk launched one of the red Tesla Roadsters into space with a mannequin in the driver's seat named Starman. This was part of a test to sp of SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. The car has message, don't panic on the dashboard screen, and it's a journey through space that could last over a billion years. You can track the adventure of te this Tesla in space at whereisroadster.com. Number two, a recent Friday, the charity PDSA gave out a gold medal of bravery to a rat named Magua. Magua and many other rats like him are sniffing out deadly mines that have been there for over years. Not only has the sniffing out bombs protected people, it's made land use usable again. Magua and other has helped others clear more than 168,635 square yards of land. Number one, have you ever wondered how many licks it actually takes to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Well, students at Purdue University have figured it out. A licking machine developed at Purdue University took an average of 364 licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. At the same institution, 20 individuals conducted the same experiment and averaged 252 licks to complete the task. This is all for Top Trending. Have a great week, GMS. Hello, GMS. My name is Davion Jones, and welcome to GMS Sports. On Monday, October 26, 6th grade girls basketball will be at home versus Tryon Middle School at 5 p.m. On Wednesday, October 28, 6th grade girls basketball will be at Indian Creek Middle School at 5.30 p.m. That's all for GMS Sports today. Have a great day.